learning from your accurate, uh, learning from your, or from your correctness. Okay? So even myself, what I'm teaching you, you might find that these are the mistakes that I've done for almost 50% when I've been learning this stuff. Again, down here, this is written sense giving of 0759745331. What does it mean? In case that God will give you a, a just like instructions, offer God your sense giving so what is program so that many lectures of a statistic for the non measures will go in air. So please send on this mobile number. In case that you want to do mobile cancer. I've done transactions in the description you see accounts number and error. The confirmation name here is put on the July time. And I promise you that there are some other guys or some other Tanzanians who have already offered on these programs and really their offering has been used specifically to develop and even that to grow up this program. So similarly to me. So today, let us continue with, this is quality 6.7, we saw a subject of statistical, we said that the estimation of the difference between means. <coughs> so we said that estimation measure of the difference of the difference between means difference between what between means when population variances are known. It's a huge subject for, or huge subtopic for this, this topic. So explanations of the difference between means when the population variances are known. Question of answers are unknown. So then this is uh, uh, the subtitle that you are going to discuss today in this lecture. And then we'll do an example of this case to test whether we have understood or not. So in similar, to say in similar fashion, so in similar fashion at the population as was in progression mean we say that two cases are considered have to consider if one with the estimations of progression parameters. Two cases are considered. This sort in this fashion. So also in similar fashions as in population mean that we talked to you about in population mean and there we are estimating the difference between the means. Uh, we say that uh, there are two cases which have to be considered in that fashion, right? And then we say that uh, we say that um, there are two types of samples. Might need 
And remember that when you are learning this uh, course, you have to look also if there is an any uh, practice course or practice moment. So there is a photo sample. There are two men, there are two types of the sample. The first one we have one sample. So we have large sample, say large sample, say large sample. Large sample, we say that in statistics, we can draw it when the sample size is greater than or equal to 30. As you mentioned, large sample. And we've been dealing with it. So I was, so for this case, that is general, general, right? So say general. So you say for this concept that I will say that the large sample and you say that generally you say n should be greater than or equal to that. So you say that the sample sizes Of difference between means when population variants are known so sample sizes of populations are both in this case, a boss large means that sample size for population X, for instance, should be greater than or equal to 30. And also the sample size for sample Y is, is, should be greater than or equal to 30. So that the first condition, at least one of the samples is small. So this was two samples. So you say that in, uh, for the large sample, the population size should be greater than or equal to 30. For the small sample, the population size should be less than or 30. Right? So for this case, we say that in, uh, we have these sample sizes. It means we say the sample sizes for the problem or for the uh, for the uh, for an experiment whereby we want to estimate or there's a difference between means uh, when the population variances are, are known, there should be both of them, the, the two samples are being drawn from the two different populations, they should have the similar, or the sum of the similar characteristics, just like this. Okay, that the sample sizes, both of them, should be greater than 30. But I get that the first condition, right? The first condition is this. Okay? So then we go for the second point. At least one of the samples is small. At least two one of the sample, it was a large <coughs> one of the samples one of the samples, you say that one of the sample should be small at the case. So those are the two conditions that you have to take consideration when you are doing this uh, uh, in the estimations between the, two, between the between the means when a question are unknown. Right? Good. So if that's the case now, 
the one to deal with scalp blood, blood sample because we say that in, for this case we have two types of sample small sample and large sample. So today I'll be teaching you about large sample sizes. How you can find the difference between means when the population runs are known for the large sample size. Right? So then, so what do you say? So he said that large samples, large sample sizes, large sample sizes. So what do you say about this? And then how we do computations of this as engineers and as scientists. So he said that he is similarly, so similar to what, what you say in that plastic color. Similarly, similar. In this case, population variance in this case, the population variance so we say that in this case, case the population variance We call it the sample variances. Population variances are replaced. So, population, in this case, the population variances, population variances are what are replaced. So, we place this. Uh, the population variances. We replace them by the sample variances. So you say that you replace by the sample variances. So instead of having so for instance here, this is called the sample variances. Sample variances. So sample variances. Sample variances. So you say that, as we say that if this uh, whenever we draw a large sample, it means we draw it in from the land population. So I told you that. Because the population is huge, so we can, we can make the population parameters by using the sample. So that's why that we said here that, similarly in this case, in this case, the population balances are replaced by what? The sample balances. Right? And then we say that also the distribution Z is used. Distribution the distribution what used to used it to. So the distribution used it to, yes, the distribution used it in computation, right, is what? Is standardized the 
basics of fundamentals and that is the what you say distribution. So that's the point where you'll we'll be extracting more concern about that concept. So he said that the general formula the general formula for different significance level means that for one, when a significance level is 100%, confidence interval confidence interval estimate For the difference for the difference between means to means for the difference. So for the difference between the means, which is mean, population mean of the first population, and as population mean of the second population, that's what we're looking for. But as we say that we can do the estimations by using the sample, and we get the population parameters. So this general formula is given us and we need some few examples, right? So it's been given as, as what? We say that uh, estimate estimate okay? So estimate what? Estimate difference So you say that the general formula for one minus significance level times 100% confidence interval estimate for the difference between the means of population mean, means of population x minus mean of population y <coughs> is given, excuse me, <coughs> is given as what estimate difference between means is equal to mean sample mean of population drawn from population x minus sample mean drawn from population y plus or minus so that is the value as significance half of the significance level and then square root of what variance of sample x over sample size x and then a variance of sample of sample size y over sample sorry variance of what of population y or, or sample y and then over so when you have been learning uh, the estimations of the difference between the means when the population variances are known, we say that the general formula for this case that will be used, will be using on solving problems, and I will solve one of them for you. Uh, for one minus significance level times 100% confidence interval estimate for the difference between the means, which the population mean of x and the population minus population means of y is given as this one. Remember that vice versa is possible also that if you take this one minus this one but you have to make sure you take this minus this. Right? So this is given as a difference in the sample mean. So this is sample mean for population X, sample mean for population Y, plus or minus, so that is the value at the half of 40 significance level, then square root of 40 variance of population X uh, of 40 sample size X, then this variance of population Y uh, of what the sample size of y. So then that the general formula 
and whereby, uh, just so you can define these few terms. So whereby what x bar is represented what mean of some distributions of means. Simply, let us call that sample mean. And this is most cases will be given. So then we have what we have y. So this also is sample mean. So this is sample mean of 40 of population x. So also this is sample mean of population y. Right? And then so we have what? Z, alpha over 2. So this is what is standardized. Standardized what is value of Z. Then you have what? You have again, uh, the rest of the terms are norms. So this is variance of what of x. And then uh, again, so we have for y, and variance for y is that one. So variance for y, so variance of y. Then you have what sample size. For example, this is sample size of 40 from population sample size from population 40 from the first population, while N2 is the sample size of the second population. So you want to find the estimated difference between the parameters when the balance is already is known. I believe that you enjoyed the beauty of statistics, so please tell me in the comment sections how, how do you enjoy. So if you have any question concern about this general formula, it's similar like what we learned in the lecture two, but you know the format of these questions or the form is a little bit different. Because the subject to say that uh, it needs a large samples, right? Good. So let us go to example three. Let's go to example three. Then we recall end of this session. So example three, it's a long question. Be patient. You say utility, the utility company. It might be your company after you graduate. Use it to sell. Use it to send out. Use to send out monthly. Okay, monthly statements. Monthly statements. To its customers. To its customers. Without address to return. Result addressed in return envelopes. Without addressed in return, return envelopes. So to send out monthly statements to its customers result addressed in return envelopes. From a random sample now of the CMB, from the random sample of 120, One hundred and twenty customers. Customers to was determined that <coughs> was determined that uh, 
has determined that on average on average it took nine days took it took out nine 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 days the payment the payment He addressed the return envelope. Return pre addressed to it. Pre addressed the he took nine days. So I have that sentence. He took nine days for For a payment to be made. For the payment to be made. To be, to be, so I said that to be met. Then with a sample standard deviation, the sample standard deviation, the sample standard deviation. Of two days. Of two days. Then the question still proceeding. You say that wishing to speed up the receipt of payment. Wishing to speed up receipt of payment. Receipt of payment. Receipt of payment. And also pre address the pre address the return envelopes. Return envelope. Returns envelopes were subsequently included with the invoice. We are subsequently we are subsequently included with the invoice. Let us write this question so we can then we end this session of live samples and the session that testing us to understand our difference. So you say that with, with the invoices
invoices, say invoices, an independent, an independent an independent sample of 100 again an independent sample of 130 customers was doing the research and the marketing or the customer ideas indicated the average payment Indicate customers indicated the indicated the an independent sample of 130 customers. We say that he indicated the, that average payment time for the average. The average payment the average payment time for when the day before I paid time for fell not fall fell right to eight days. Eight days. Which is sample standard deviations of two. We sample standard deviation. Sample standard deviation of 2.2 days. 2.2 days. So the question now so the question I say that compute a compute a 95%. interval as made for the difference as made for the difference between population mean Question asks you to compute an 85 percent confidence interval, right? Estimate to estimate what is the difference between what it means. So, solution that does solve these questions and then to be the end of this lecture. Solution The question states that. A, a, a utility company used it to send out monthly what? monthly statements to its customers so that the main objective without address the a return envelope so now I address the return envelopes from a random sample of 120 customers so he drew a, a sample of 120 customers from the possibly finite or infinite infinite customers, number of customers, 
or size of customers, in fine population of customers or finite. So it was de determined that on average it took nine days for the payment to be made. It's a little bit conceptual question. So this is just right con concept question, conception. So even the way you read that, you have to think. So we say that it to be made, uh, 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 and then it that it was determined that on average it took nine days for the payment. It means nine correspond to 120, right? So it took nine days for the payment. To be made with, uh, with a sample standard deviations of two days. That's one. Two, wishing to speed up receipt of payment, pre addressed return envelopes were subsequently included with all the invoices. And then, a dependent sample of 130 customers indicated the average pay, payment time. Fall, not tell. This is fair, right? Fell to eight days at the average, right? Fell to eight days with the sample standard deviation, the sample standard deviation, standard load, standard deviation. So this is standard deviation, okay? So the standard deviations of 2.2 days can compute, compute a 95% confidence interval estimate for the for the difference between the population years. So it's simple, it's not tough. The first step, usual. Let us analyze the data given. Okay, so what are we given? We are given very many information which are very useful, right? Suppose that uh, we say that the X is 10 for, for populations of 100. So let X represent the invoices sent without address return. And then let Y represent the invoices sent with pre addressed return envelopes. So we say that let X represent the inverse. Invoices sent to result address. Send to result address. Result addresses. Then we say that again, let y address the return. So result address the return. So let us, y, this is the invoices. So why you say that invoices? So that why be represent the invoices sends. Okay, send with pre addressed return. Priority addressed to pre addressed to return. Yes, we are just return and loss. We address return of the end loss. So, if that's the case now, we say that population size for population, uh, for example, drawn from population X is equal to what? What will be the, the population size? It will be given as 120. Again, we have population size for Y, which you say that invoices send result pre-addressed 
So the sample that are independent sample of one third the customers. So this the small from the second conditions, this the small what? Small value compared to this one. So that one of the piece of information. So customers so was determined that it an average. So it means that the mean for X also is is equal to what? Average two to nine days, right? So its mean is what it is nine. And if we come back again to this, we indicated that the average payment time fell to eight days. So it means that the mean for sample Y is eight days. With the sample standard deviations of that. So again, we say that balance So you say that balance of x plus the balance of x, this will be equal to it. So what the standard deviation there it is two days, right? So this is two square, and so it's four. So is what is four. Then we need what? Some distributions of means of what? Of what? Okay, then we say that the standard deviation for population Y is this one, with the sample standard deviations of 2.2 days. So this is 2.2 days. Okay, so the D the cost of the data. Hopefully we have already recorded all the important data. So you go for the second stage. We call it the formula I told you. Called a formula of what? Of difference between means. Okay, we call the formula of the difference between what? Yes, difference between population means or yes, population means. So the formula that I told you a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. oh. Can you pause the video and then try to remind yourself if you remember the way the formula looks like? So you say that difference in population mean. A difference between population mean population means. This one we say that we take the mean of first sample, mean of the second sample. So then we say plus or minus square root. So to have this square root, we say that we have balance about x. So we say plus what? Balance of variable y over n y. Right? Interesting. Mathematics is beautiful. So the names are there if we go dead. Excuse me. So this is equal to difference in sample means plus or minus standard base divided at alpha over 2. Then we have what the square root balance of x over nx balance of pi over n y right so remember that z at alpha over two this we are talking all about z
so we say that determine this one because to be determines R2 at 0 0.025, if you do remember. So you say that that is alpha of R2, you should make it. Hmm? So this will make then alpha of R2, this will make now, means that it's corresponding value because I told you this is corresponding to Z over 95. And this is equal to it. And the standardized value I have told you in previous examples, for example one and example two, how you can compute this value. So if you computed that Z at 0 0.025 is equal to 1.96. Right? That's not a part of the question, but the question is demanding that. So difference between population mean. Population between between population and population mean. All means. So this will be equal to what? X is nine minus what eight. Then plus or minus. So lazy value is what one point nine six. Then we say that you multiply by this is still continue. So we say that uh, so we say that uh, the sample size for X it is what one third, one third. Plus, plus for the other one, it was two. Then the sample size is one foot. This isn't one third. So then we say that if you do this computation, nine minus eight, you get to one. Plus or minus 1.96. And also, if you find this is square root, if you find that square root, this will be by using a scientific calculator, make sure that you use it properly, properly to get this response as I said, maybe missed. So, you have to repeat. Zero point two six five six. So if we multiply using a scientific calculator, finally we find the response will be one. Plus or minus. Then we say that you have 0 0.5. So let us conclude now, response and then end our lecture. Okay, if you just join me, you are warmly welcome. My name is Olenjo Lai Mokota Yerosingo from the beautiful, fantastic country that called United Republic of Tanzania. I would like to welcome you into our official YouTube channel and then start to conclude the question we've been solving at the difference. Difference between me between, because this is the formal sentence now, between population means, the difference between the population means is one, is one plus or minus zero, Five two, so this is the final response, right? That the final response for that problem. I will be giving you some other homeworks in the next lecture. This is the end of lecture three. I thank God who have been with me from the moments of preparations up to the moments when I've been teaching here. 
And I thank God for your presence. You chose to learn the materials of engineering, mathematics, and scientific mathematics with me. Please, I remind you to make sure that you go through A, B, C, D, E, points that he, uh, in order for you to enjoy and get every contents that is essential at a particular time. So I'd like also to insist you that write, uh, to write in the comment sections whether you are from which continent in this world or you are from which country uh, in a particular place. So make sure to do, you do write that because it's very important. So I would say, like, I would like to say that this is the end, but you can also look some other questions in the reference books and you try to solve them because I gave you the concept now, you can go through them, right? So make sure that you be uh, serious in this program. So simply, may God bless you and uh, abundantly. Let us meet in the next lecture. And this is Olenjolai.